Hey, welcome to another video on homeowner repair. And some of you guys saw my rigid uh, shop back product review video, and you had some questions about it. One of the questions were, how do I use it if I have a flood in my basement and am I gonna get electrocuted? How does it work? What do I do? And you had all kinds of questions. Well, lucky for you, not so lucky for me, I have some water in my basement. So I'm gonna show you what you need to do to clean up water in your garage or your basement um, that floods out with this rigid dry wet back. Another cool thing that I'll include in on the video is I also have a rigid pump that I did a review on and I'll hook the uh, pump up to the bottom of the shop vac and um, you can see how it pumps the water out of the bottom of the vacuum for you so it'll make it a lot easier to get rid of the water because when this thing's full it's going to weigh about 80 pounds and good luck Good luck muscling that up a flight of stairs. I know from experience. <laughs> okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to take the uh, top off and you need to remove the air filter when you start to um, vacuum up like liquid and water and stuff like that. So I use this a lot on my pellet stove. Probably saw a video on that. So you're going to take that out and what happens is so as you vacuum up the water and it fills up um, to a high level, there's a ball or a puck in here. You might be able to see it. And it slides back and forth. So as the water level gets higher and it gets to the point where it shouldn't get any higher, um, this little float goes up and it blocks the vacuum so it doesn't suck any more water up and you're at a safe spot. So basically you just put that on like that. And then what you're going to do next is you're going to connect your hose to connect it right there. And there's a special adapter for the um, tube, for the vacuum, that helps the liquid. And this is what it looks like. It's just flat and plastic. Uh, if you have lost yours, you can buy new ones. It happened to me. I had, a, had to buy a new one tonight. I can't find the one that came with this vacuum. And it's made by Rigid. And I'll put a link to it in the description so you can see where you can purchase it. You just put it on like that. And we'll plug the vacuum in. I almost forgot, before I started vacuuming, I wanted to show you this rigid pump and how it works. It's a pump made for the vacuum. It's made to pump the water out of the vacuum. So you can hook a garden hose to it and pump it like outside out of your basement. Or usually what I do is I pump it into my um, sump pump and let the sump pump take it out of the house. So I'm going to hook this up now and this will be part of the video. I'll show you how this works as well. Okay, so all you need to do is unscrew the cap at the bottom and put any dirt in it, make sure you bang it all out. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is you're going to hook up the pump and you're going to put like the strainer end into here. You don't want to keep the plug end of it dry. All you need to do is hook this up like that. And there is like a little gasket in here. It's a little o-ring to seal it. So the water will stay inside the rigid uh, vacuum. So all you need to do is go like that. Make sure it's on there tight. And then when you're ready to pump it out, you hook a garden hose up to this end. Uh, make sure that this is off and right now I'm gonna put the top on and uh, we'll suck up some water Okay, so now all you need to do is to start vacuuming up your water Back and forth Alright, so if you're at this point where you've vacuumed up a bunch of water um, and your, your, wet, your, dry, your wet dry vac is full, if you don't have the pump, you're at the point now where you can just empty it out, call it a day, vacuum up some more. But if you did choose to purchase this pump, 
Uh, the way this works is you turn it on, you hook up a garden hose. I have mine going to the sump pump. So you turn on the valve. Uh, if I plugged it in, and then you just hit the nozzle like the nozzle, <laughs> the uh, switch like this, and it'll pump all the water up. So I'll take the top off, and you can see um, the water drain out of this thing. This pump works really good. It sucks it down really fast, too. You can see how fast it's draining out. I like to take the top off while I'm doing this, so you can see inside when the um, water's at a low level. So it'll burn the pump out. But it only takes a couple seconds to drain it on down. It's almost done now. There it is. We're gonna shut it off. So as soon as you get to the bottom, you want to shut the pump off and. Um, and fill it back up to the water, start vacuuming again. Alright, so that's pretty much it. That's the end of the video. Um, so that's all you need to do if you want to clean up some water with this wet uh, shop vac. And I uh, hope you liked the video. Definitely give us a thumbs up. And I'll be here in New Hampshire cleaning this mess up. Hope you liked the video. If you have any comments, uh, leave a comment, subscribe, thumbs up the video, share it with a buddy. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.